pretty cool. Yeah. I just was focused on impressing the judges. Rel! Darren Diddy say my name is pretty dope. Rel, you really, really, really excited me. I dreamed of having such an icon acknowledge me. never gonna see everything that you I think Rel sees the moment in time. Hip-hop is on the rise. And he came with it. It feels great to be a member of the four. It's like a whirlwind. It never stops. There's never a dull moment. The lyrics I wrote for my song this week are really geared towards the challenger and talking about how hungry I am. I have to put food on the table for my kids and set them up for the future. When I say my kids got to eat, that means you should probably step out of the way. For any challengers coming after my seat, I just want to say bring your A game because I'm not giving up that seat easy and you're going to have to put in some work to get it from me. Stage, it's been an emotional night for you. Can you tell us why? If you watch the first episode in here, you can you know when I talked about my brother and my inspiration, why I got into rap, and he passed away, and today is actually his birthday. So it was an emotional moment for, for me backstage. But that ain't no excuse. Nick is great. He, he's a tough competitor. He came with it, and you know it's in your hands now. Let's hear what our panel thinks. Megan, I think with you, Nick. 
your writing, there wasn't any hooks. We couldn't tell where the chorus was. And that's something that Rel does really well, but your lyrics all together were way stronger than Rel's. Well, your story is wrapped around my heart and I just crumble with emotions for you. But if I had to pick who to sign to a label tonight, I would pick Nick. Thank you. Charlie? Nick, I think you're more of a poet than maybe a competitor that would end up on the four stage tonight. I do have to go with you, Rel, because I believe in the long run, you belong up there and you have a story to tell and I know there's more in you to come. Thank you, thank you. The original bad boy, Diddy. Hey, when I first went in the studio with B.I.G., he wrote a rhyme that was like 64 bars long with no chorus. But just like I told Biggie, I said, you can keep on rapping until you blew in the face. You're going to lose people, man. It's about the songs. Absolutely, I can do that as well. Just let you know. Rel, I need you to talk to me, baby. This is love here. Talk to me. It's written all over your face, man. I mean, I definitely feel like I was caught up in my emotions a little bit, but that's no excuse, you know what I mean? Obstacles are always gonna come up, so that's something that I gotta deal with. If we're gonna work together, we have to be honest. This show is about stepping up and showing how bad you want it. And I think Nick showed that he wanted it more than you today. It's respectable. All right, thank you, panel. Audience, please vote now. Is it going to be Rel Jerv, member of the four, or Nick, our challenger? And the winner of this challenge is... Nick! Take your spot.